I want to comment on the mega church and tithing and pastors with million dollar homes. And I can't think of any other people deserve to have million dollar homes than those teachers who are preaching the word of God. And it's not our money. Um, that's money right there is money that we are supposed to contribute to God. And I think that's a great thing. I don't think that, you know, anybody should be upset about people learning. And as far as the mega churches, these preachers are teaching the word and showing us how to tie the gain monetary resources to bring about the kingdom of heaven. That's a V-liner, Nike from Dallas, Texas. Welcome back to Gerard McClendon Live. Are preachers pimping the people or are we a little bit too hard on big churches with water fountains and stadium seating? Does your church charge admission? We're speaking with two of the bravest men in America today as they try to give sight to the blind with their book, Sea Time, Liberating the Oppressed, Anthony Cadero, Thigpen, and David Austin. Welcome back to the show, gentlemen. Let's get right Thanks, into this. Man. I want to look at some more Facebook comments. Jesse says, tithing unlocks the spiritual force that enables God to work in your life. The 10% is, is, is God's requirement. No matter what the conditions, you'll get your returns from God, gentlemen. Let's move forward. Let's talk about Joel Osteen. Osteen we talked about him in the last segment. Joel Osteen, as you mentioned, Anthony, he is very liberal, you know, liberal with his church. He doesn't live opulently, but then we have T.D. Jakes, who can live in a very opulent fashion, but he does amazing work overseas with his missionary um, ministries. And then we move to Joyce Meyer. Joyce Meyer has a very powerful ministry throughout the world, but she also has a very large complex. She lives on a palatial estate. She has several homes, swimming pools, tennis courts, etc. Gentlemen, if I give to the church, will I get it back? Will I get a mansion? Talk to me, Anthony. You know what? I think people should realize four principles. They should first realize that seed is not your money. Seed is the word of God. Mm -hmm. uh, they should also realize that Jesus never enforced the tithe. The tithe was actually implemented, reinstituted back into the church, and, it, and the Catholic Church used money to reinstitute it in 787 A.D. Mm -hmm. And the tithe act was not ab abolished in Europe until 1936. And you can take a look at the Tithe Act of 1936. People were forced to pay the tithe like we pay our taxes, and the money was automatically channeled to the Catholic Church. Yeah, and this, hence, you have a wealthy church. You're absolutely right. I was looking back. It says, uh, this is Joyce Meyer Ministries again, to give is godly, she says. Never fear giving too much in the name of God, even if it means sacrificing dinners. She says, fear is the work of the devil. She goes on to say, uh, make your checks payable to Joyce Meyer Ministries, and million is spelled M-I-L-L-I-O-N. Uh-oh, David, talk to me, man. She's asking for money after she speaks, which is fine, but she's saying make out the checks for $1 million. Is this absurd, or does this make sense, David? <laughs> Absolutely, it's absurd. I mean, I don't get this sense of entitlement like a lot of these prosperity, prosperity preachers and their members feel as though they should have these things. Last time I checked, the Bible says that the foxes have holes and birds have nests, but the Son of Man, talking about Jesus Christ, had no place to lay his head. Mm. Uh, last time I checked, churches were not for profits legally. <laughs> but, I mean, but, but instead, they want to function like CEOs, there are no stock options and, and, and benefits for a pastor. You're a pastor. Just that, you're a pastor, not a CEO. Wow, wow, that's a powerful statement. You know, Gerard McClendon Live continues with Anthony Thigpen and David Austin. Are churches fleecing the flock? 